welcome back. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Thief, the game takes place in... What is the closest approximation I can think of to describing it to someone is Eberron, a fantasy steampunk universe. You've got basically the industrial age, but not quite the industrial age. Sort of like an in-between renaissance and industrial, with a healthy dose of magic and the supernatural. Isn't that exciting? So, Hammer. Before death came, the liars were made to feast upon the hands of the thieves. And the thieves were made to ingest the tongues of their liar brothers. And we praise the Master Builder for his judgments. I went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently, they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So, hopefully, they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines, and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main, main, main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job. Alright, now, as I've explicitly stated, my memory beyond Lord Bafford's mansion, the, the first mission after the tutorial, uh, the memory of the game is a little... vague. Now, I'm going to challenge myself in the interests of... really me and see whether I can complete the break from Crag's Cleft uh, mission, prison mission, on expert difficulty, despite not remembering it as well. Basically testing the extensive extent of my memory from a game I have not played in a decade. So we have quite a few objectives. Your map doesn't show the way through the mines, so you're going to have to scout around to make your way to where they hold the prisoners. Cuddy still owes you for the Bafford job. Break him out and you'll get your cash. You've had your eye on Basso the Boxman's sister for a while now. If you break him out of Crag's Cleft, she'll probably be very grateful. Isit the Beggar borrowed your lucky hand of glory, and knowing him probably hid it from the Hammer's body Hammer's body search in ways you'd rather not think about. Get it back. Uh, hand of glory, if memory serves, this is a supernatural thing. I think the hand of glory was a severed hand taken from a, a hanged man, and put a candle in it or something and had some sort of superstitious properties? Eh, a little vague on that. There's bound to be some pricey religious icons in any hammer complex. Try to come out with at least 1,000 worth of their stuff. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a full loot completion of this mission. However, I think I can do 1,000. Escape from the prison with Cuddy and Basso, or Baso the boxman, and a true professional doesn't leave a mess. Don't kill anyone. At least of the human variety. Pressing escape shows us the map, which is very limited. We have the mines down here, factory level, prison, and then the barracks and officers' quarters. Uh, something to keep in mind uh, for those who are unfamiliar with Thief, as in you haven't played it at all. The map layout will change along with the number of enemies, uh, depending on the difficulty level you're playing. I think there's an escape point, for instance, in the officer's quarters you can find that's not going to exist on expert difficulty. So I'm going to have to rack my brain and see if I can remember another way, and I think I do. Something fancy beyond just trying to walk back down to the mines, which is where we'll make our entry. Now, beyond that, we've got some sort of cool shit about how the factory is going to look into the prison, but it's kind of vague. And we have how we think the cell blocks uh, are laid out. 
But we don't know how the barracks and the officer quarters are laid out. Okay, okay. Obviously takes us back to the objectives. Let's go ahead and continue and get started. Whew. Now, our purchasing screen. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm feeling exceptionally benevolent today. I'm gonna go ahead and buy these tips. A former prisoner of Crag's Clef says he has info about the haunted mines. Cost 100. Go ahead and buy that in a hot tip. A few well-placed inquiries might reveal where the hammers are keeping Cuddy. Now, you don't need these tips. As a matter of fact, you can always just start the mission with the tips, read them, and then load to, uh, before you even got went to the shop screen and not buy them. But I'm feeling, as I said, benevolent. Generous. I'll go ahead and spend the money to purchase those. We have five water arrows, 20 broadhead arrows, and one noisemaker arrow. Okay, let's see here. I want your water arrows. I want all of the water arrows. Do I need to take a moss arrow for a startup? No, I don't think so. Speed potion? That could be handy. not going to buy a healing potion at the start. Speed potion, though, could be useful. I'll see whether I can get through that. And moss arrows, I think I can pick the, at least one up early. I'm going to be all sorts of flashy fancy. I don't really need that many of these broadhead arrows, though. That's a good point. I mean, I, 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 I practically don't use these them at all, and I don't think I'll need to for this mission. i got a noisemaker arrow. I'll have to keep that in mind. I'll go ahead and grab these two moss arrows, just in case. Let's go ahead and play the mission. Okay, so we start out here, outside an entry point to the uh, bottom most level of the mines. Cycling through our tips here. Here's the normal tip. Word on the street is that the hammers are eager to take back the top level of the haunted mines, because there's a specially blessed holy water font there. You know... The mines are assumedly haunted, and the hammers, who I get confused in my head sometimes, the Helmites and the Sigmarites, because of the hammer symbol, uh, they're getting pushed out. I don't imagine why. I can't. I can't fathom it. There's probably nothing wrong. Let's go ahead and drop this. Whoop. And finally, our hot tip, which reads... According to Dickett, a heretic who was recently let out of Crag's Cleft, Cuddy's being held in cell block 4. Alright, that could be very useful. Although we're going to have to escape with more than Cuddy. Let's go ahead and drop that down as well, and get this mission underway. Also, I suppose before I really get started, I'll turn the gamma up a little bit more. Yeah, that's super bleach white, but... I guess I'm just trying to make things a little bit easier to see on your end, because I'm playing in 480p anyway. Not high resolution, just, just trying to make things a little better for you guys. Now, if memory serves, there's some loot right up here as we get started. Which you can see if your gamma's up reasonably high. That starts us with 35 already. Alright, 965 more to go. Fantastic. Also, the air conditioner is going to be joining me uh, for a bit with its co-commentary, but I'll turn it off soon enough. Okay. Getting up here. That is a zombie. A zombie. And that sort of cylindrical hovering formation are flies. They will nom on your health. It's fucking rude. Don't run through them. That zombie, though, I don't think he's active. At least not this one. Good. Needed to prove myself wrong, just in case. So we're going to go ahead and walk around this lower level here. And I'm going to familiarize myself with the layout. I don't think there are actually any enemies on this bottom level. But there is a crate. Actually, I don't think we are on the bottom level. Thinking about it. We're on the third most level, because there's one right below us, with a spider. See if I can deal with this son of a bitch. No guarantees, of course. Alright, I hit you once. Don't move. Pain in the ass for me to track you when you move. Of course, the zoom in just completely fucked me up. 
damn it. Son of a bitch. I'll come down there and kill you with the sword. I will fucking do it. Ow, oh, hell. Now he's vanished. Right? Oh, good. That actually took care of him entirely. Sweet. Ah, uh, let's go down there. See what we want. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think a moss arrow or two is down here. It's pretty much the only reason why you'd want to come down here. Okay, that'll take care of that. And which number are they? Six. Sweet, I have four moss arrows now. That's that's good to know. Let's go ahead and put that away and head back up to the third floor. The sound levels are okay. I don't actually remember when I had my headset volume set at, but things are always louder for me than they are for you. Oh, son of a bitch. Fuck! You're actually the active one? Nope. Nope. Go! Oh, run! You fool! Damn it, Garrett! Oh, nuts. Did not mean to trigger you. Wonder if I can get you to fall. Fall. Oh. Like leaves. And fall. You know you want to go down there. Zombies don't die to conventional weapons, everyone. To do something special and take them out. Not gonna make this easy on me, are you? Let's see if I can lose you in the mines. Run around like this. Take this round. Takes us straight up to the factory. In theory. I don't actually want to be up there straight right now either. Looking around for loot. Should be some loot along here. Sweet. That takes us up to 185. There's the fly guy. So yeah, zombies don't die to conventional weapons. You can hack your sword at them until... Until Gehenna. Eh. That's not gonna happen. Alright, and as you can see, this takes us to the other side of this. So we did an end run. We did an end run around the zombie. This room was full of frame crashing. Not a fan. We're not gonna be in here. Now you'll notice the lights on this elevator are actually dead, so we're gonna have to find another way to climb on up. Apparently the zombies have really done a a great job with fucking this shit. Go! Go! Don't you fuck with me, game. And here. Run, 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 run. Let me try something. See if I can demo this off. Don't give me your sass! Nope. Guess he's not one who would be animated so easily. I think, uh, you know, when they're laying down, you can shoot at them, they'll stand up, and then they'll eventually go to laying back down. Obviously, you can shoot them again, they'll stand right back up again. Nope, don't want to be here. We're going this way, which has the propensity, or the potential chance for us to fall. We don't want to fall. At least I don't want to fall, so I'm going to quick save. Hoot! Shit! Oh. My legs! <laughs> Garrett, you need those. Don't be pulling a Sam Fisher here. When I say jump, you say, how oh. fuck. <laughs> Don't do this to me, game. You know what? I'm going to go this way. Nope. Oh. No, I'm not. Damn it, Garrett. <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch. You jump. Look. There. I'm just jumping too, uh, too late, rather. Not triggering the jump before uh, he goes up. As has been noted, Garrett's not a tank. He's also not a superhero. Or even a hero, for that matter. Okay. Now, our next destination is right up here. On lower difficulties, you don't have to go this way in order to get up to the next level. But this is all you got here on Expert. Okay. Definitely worth throwing down a quick save. Also worth crouching. So we make our way up here. 
Now there's a lot of zombies around here. I am also 100% visible. Not a fan of that. And the game is fucking with me. Shit, there he is. Now that holy water font? Oh, yes. We want that. We definitely want us some holy water fonts. Alright, let's see if I can do the end of run around these guys. Oh, that was beautiful, Grimoth. Go, 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 go. Run in here. And this is what we're looking for. Permanent holy water font. At least, in, that's permanent. But the blessing only lasts for 30 seconds. Fuck you. And get fucked. Like I said, zombies can't be killed with conventional weapons. You can hack at them with your sword, shoot at them with a normal bow. But the holy water, they don't come back from that. And as I said, this is a permanent font. You can keep accessing it. It'll just keep blessing all of your water arrows for 30 seconds. If you want something more portable, though, you go with this. Which is something you can carry around, and it still gives you the 30 second blessing. So there's that. Also, loot. That takes us up to 360. 640 left. And a water arrow. Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and run with this blessing on, along with the game save, because there's definitely another zombie or two on this level. If... Hello. How's it going? I thought I missed. See if I can find another one before the holy water time expires. Hello! I think that's all on this level. Sweet. I got them all. Of course, the game proves me wrong. I would be very sad with that. Alright, everyone. Lovely font. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I mean, I don't really need you out, Blackjack. Also, I'm not used to such gamma brightness. But I am doing this for YouTube, although I, I suppose I could do it in processing. Nah. Minimal effort, everyone. Minimal effort. So, let's go ahead and trigger this son of a bitch. This thing scared the hell out of me the first time I played this let mission as a kid, and that's how I remember it. That skull, it hurts. Like John Defoe. I don't think there's anything else on this level. Well, there is. Not in this section. There are multiple ways to get to the next session. Uh, section, you can take that, I do believe, or we can also go past the skull, which we're going to be doing. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm liking my memory so far. I'm doing a pretty good job of remembering things. And I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh, shit. Well, I, I guess I can go up. Nah, well... Does this take me further up? Go. Oh, no, this takes me to the prizes. I like prizes. Sweet. I'm halfway there. Insert blah blah. John Bon Jovi. Thought I was gonna break my legs. I like not breaking my legs. Up. Alright, that's a zombie that already comes dead. I changed my mind. Nope. Youths in this time seek to learn about gold and politics, not honest craft. To be their loss when they come of age and know not how to accomplish aught of consequence. <clears throat> yep. Oh hell, I definitely did not want you to go that way. Come this way. Now, <clears throat> one con this level has are these damn Hammerites who, and they're bored out of their fucking minds while doing their patrol work or what have you, they'll start humming and singing. Basically doing everything to piss you off. Just go ahead and drop you down here. And, yeah. This should take you back to that last area I pointed out. 
But I chose a path I'm satisfied with. Out of my way. Okay. Being pretty heavy on the saves. <laughs> Maybe turn off my air conditioner, you son of a bitch. Let's see here. If I lean forward. <laughs> I don't even know. That, that was, that was not satisfactory, game. <clears throat> there we go. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. <laughs> now we can take that way up to the factory, but I will not be doing such a thing. I think I want to take this path, which is on the other side of that. There has to be another way around him, though. I don't want to get bitten by flies. Or maybe a zombie. Oh! The zombies didn't actually bite me. Well, the, the, well, the flies, really, that's what I meant. So yeah, let's open this door. And go in. Out there. Oh shit. Nothing. Thou shalt not hide forever. Probably not. Come along now. All these people I have to work with are so incompetent, so stupid. I heard drop <sighs> Oh come on, man. Throw me a fucking bone here. <laughs> Bullshit. Hiding shall not save thee. I'm sure it won't. Fine, I'm gonna use the lean forward command. I hope you're happy. You you brought this upon yourself, remember that. I'm gonna cheese the fuck out of you. I hope. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from our Who is You gotta be kidding me. You just You just no sold my cheese. Hiding shall not save thee. Nope. Bastard. This is ridiculous. You are ridiculous. You hear me? Ridiculous. Look at what you made me do. You made me quick load so many times. I don't even have any flash bombs. You know what would happen if we'd fucked that up? Bastard. Okay. Anyway. This takes us to ladders, which I love in this game. Oh yes, ladders are great fun. Ow, hell, I didn't mean to come come over here, down here just yet. Here we go. Nope, wrong button. That takes this elevator, which will lead us into the factory level. Uh, you could also go through uh, up that staircase that the two hammerites were guarding, but I like this one. At least I think I do. I'm playing on extra difficulty. I don't remember things that well. I'm not gonna demo or show off everything. Get over it. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Mines? That's the other passage that you can basically take to get to this uh, factory section. There's also a lower level of the factory. We're going to be taking the upper level. Okay. Unless there's any loot back here. I don't think so. Of course, if I don't meet my 1,000, I'm going to have all sorts of fun. Now, we got to be careful here. <coughs> the Hammerites are doing all sorts of fun. Hammerites are doing all sorts of fun things. I've muted myself too early. I'll go ahead and show you a bit of what they're doing here. There you go. 
and pour it into the mold. Walk around a bit. I can't imagine, you know, I imagine wearing all of that in such extreme heat conditions is not fucking comfortable at all. But maybe they have something like Endure Elements cast on them. Open the mold, and it's a giant ass hammer. He pulls. <laughs> Go ahead and ease my way past that. Same as happening over here. I think we want to go down here. Mm, although it's going to be dangerous. After someone mm, nope. It's just you. I think I want to go down here instead. Yeah. Being pretty heavy handed with the quick saves. Is there a light source I can extinguish here? No, there isn't. Natural sunlight's pouring through. I guess. Shit. quick saves in any of my series and as I've noted before over the past heard such carrying on as this thief's pawn cutty one would think these scum had never faced tribulation in their lives for a time I thought block four might never sleep again for his coughs but he quiets now good death or Dorian's twill be the same for him in the end Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't think I can take this guy out that easily. Not with all the darkness, not with all the light there. But I do definitely stand forth and speak thyself if thou be there. Nope. All seems peaceful now. Yup. I want the key. There we go. I have a magic. I definitely feel like I've left something behind. Huh. Tell you what, folks. I'm gonna end the video here. I... I might walk back. Off camera, because I'm nice. I'm not even, I'm not going to show you that. When we come back, though, we will likely continue from this point, because I'm sure my, my thoughts are unmerited, and I'll, I'll see you all later. Alright? Alright?